New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Hashtag hola como estas? Hey, if you want to reach me, follow me on Twitter, underscore NYNews. The other one is NY Insider. The NY Insider one has to deal with uh, up to the minute news on the New York Yankees from a wide range of platforms. If you have a blog, reach out to me on Twitter. I will add you to the RSS feed. And you and your website can blow up. So, Yankees fans, let's talk about CC Sabathia. As you guys know now, the Yankees have signed J Hap to a three year deal, but the last year is going to be an option. If he pitches to the innings pitched in the contract, he will receive that third year. And in my honest opinion, he can achieve that easily. So, let's talk about the other news that the Yankees want to go out and trade or sign another starting pitcher. This means that CeCe Sabathia's job, his starting row, is on the line. Maybe he'll compete with one of these other pitchers. Who knows if the Yankees are still intrigued by that Japanese pitcher? Who knows? All I know is that the signs are pointing to CeCe Sabathia coming out of the bullpen as long relief. Hey, if you ask me, he'll probably do a better job than Chase and Shreve when he was on the Yankees. Also, if you ask me again, I think CeCe Sabathia coming out of the pen isn't a bad idea. CeCe Sabathia with, let's say, a jaunt of energy, obviously when you're a starting pitcher, you're going to save all that energy to pitch a full game. That's the mentality of a starting pitcher. So if you convert CeCe Sabathia, his velocity is going to go up. His strikeout rates are probably going to go up etc. Just as we saw in 2009 how the Yankees converted Phil Hughes into the bullpen and you saw his velocity go up, he was really a beast coming out of the bullpen. Also, I believe if Phil Hughes stuck to that uh, bullpen role, you would have seen him not be really a semi-retired pitcher at this point. His career is really at the uh, brink of not being a career anymore. So that idea, CC at the age that he's at, is not a bad idea. We've seen Gordon pitch to 40 plus, Rivera 40 plus. Specifically, CeCe Sabathia being a left handed pitcher, him coming out the pen is really not a bad idea. This, if the Yankees prefer to skip out on Machado or other big free agent names, they could have the money to go after a Keiko. Stacking your team with pitching does not sound like a bad idea, it sounds like an excellent idea. Folks, the league is going to be weak yet again in 2019. Cleveland Indians are not going to be in it. All these other teams are not going to be in it. You're going to see lopsided records like how the Red Sox had, how the Yankees had. The Red Sox are weakened now. They lost Kelly. Even though Kelly didn't have a great year with the Red Sox, but if you ask me, he's one of the uh, so-called Red Sox that when you think about the Boston Red Sox, you think about him. I mean, the Red Sox have been weakened. But um, yeah, with the weak league, you're going to see these lopsided records. So pitching is going to, let's say, dictate if the Yankees could hold on to first place with another team like the Red Sox competing. And the Rays are going to be a challenge as well, a thorn to the side of the Yankees. They've improved as well. So focusing all of your effort into pitching is a great idea. And wait for it, the Yankees want to save even more. They'll probably not even trade Sonny Gray. I know that's the unpopular thing to say. Hey, if you followed my channel for quite some time now, you would know I'm not a big Sonny Gray fan. I even called it. I said he's not going to work out in New York. But if you could diminish his role, let's say not put the spotlight on him, he might bounce back. It's not far-fetched to say. He's pitched great on the road. So the Yankees have a ton of options when it comes to pitching with that uh, re-signing of Hap. They're in a great position. And like I said, it's going to be a lopsided record yet again. All these weak teams out there. The Yankees are obviously going to win over 100 games. And I expect uh, Glaber Torres to just have a monster year. He's another player that could hit for average. I mean, average has become underrated in Major League Baseball. It's all about this and that. And everybody's ignoring average. I mean, look at all the great teams that win World Series. They have players on their teams batting for high average. They have MVPs. Betts, Martinez, previous years, Altuve, Correa, etc. That's the recipe for World Series winner. Pitching, 
players that can hit for average, players that can hit with runners in scoring position, and an average translates into that. So if Sonny Gray hasn't said to Cashman, hey, I want out of New York, trade me, there's a real possibility, 50-50, that the Yankees could hold on to Sonny Gray because Cashman wants a legit return for Gray. He's pitched great on the road, and you can't blame him for that. Also, I was going to make this video a few days ago, like two days ago, that the Dodgers are freeing up salary so they could supposedly go after Harper. And if you're a fan of this channel, you know where I'm going with that. If the Yankees want a legit left-handed bat, we've seen Boris come out recently and say, hey, the Yankees never approached us and said, hey, we're out on Harper. Take what they said with a grain of salt. So if the Yankees were smart, and obviously they need a left-handed bat, they would outbid the Dodgers for Harper and then sell them on trying to trade for Stanton, who is worth less than Harper. And the Dodgers might be in that range where they could afford Stanton and not Harper because they're trying to move Kemp, Puig, Peterson, etc. And if they can't move a Kemp, Stanton is their best option. So from my standpoint, don't count out Harper to the Yankees. Don't count that out. Because like I said in my previous videos, the Yankees are never out because he's a left-handed bat. So today, December 13th, is the last day of winter meetings. I have seen screenshots that the Samonetti source has sent me of his sources, and these are big names. They said, hey, Cashman is very busy. We barely see him. He's busy working on some deals, some mega deals. Don't be surprised that the Yankees make a big splash before winter meetings or today. Again, another player that you can't count out as well, Riomoto. Riyamoto, for the people correcting me out there. Don't count them out. I can see the Yankees pulling the robbery on the Mets. Obviously, the Mets have fallen out of the Riyamoto sweepstakes, so don't count that out. The Yankees have a lot of options now. They have the pitching. Their rotation is set. They just have to make a few moves here and there, and the possibility of Sonny Gray remaining a Yankee hasn't been higher. Because like I said, Cashman has signaled and said, hey, we're not getting the players in return that I want. So don't be surprised if Sonny Gray remains a Yankee. And another thing that I wanted to mention when it comes to Yankees fans on the internet, Cashman is very aware of the people that have podcasts, people that report on the Yankees online. Recently, he told a podcaster by the name of John Boy that he's looking forward to his podcast. And John Boy never mentioned that he was a podcaster or whatever. So that means Brian Cashman, he looks like an internet savvy dude. He looks like a nerd to me, in my honest opinion. He's aware of the Yankees fans' comments online. So when you guys leave comments on YouTube channels, there's a strong possibility that the Yankees front office is reading your comments. Just to see, just to test the waters if something works or not. So keep your comments going. So with that being said, like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like the possibility or the sound of CeCe Sabathia coming out the bullpen? Do you like the idea of the Yankees still being engaged for another starting pitcher? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from RambleYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.